Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up Stone Ocean in today's video, man. I refuse to go into 2022 being behind, man. I know it's been a while since the last JoJo video. Um, I'm going to keep it real. I just lost track of time. I honestly didn't think it's been that long, but it's been like almost three weeks or something. So, hey, you know, today's video, we're going to knock out the last two episodes. So, yeah, that's that. The last episode, uh, we met Weather Report. Um, we kind of have this mission right now to get to like the courtyard to basically hand over Jotaro's stand disc star platinum um to a member of the speedwagon foundation somehow the person's gonna fucking be in the courtyard there so hey i don't know how the fuck that's gonna happen but it's jojo anything can happen am i right but yeah we're fighting this like jumping jack flash guy he he looks like he's like on some exorcist type beat he got like some fucking squishy ass toes and whatnot and he has a really cool sound like his stand sound it's really fucking dope but hey I mean, he's kind of creepy. But everybody, that's about it, man. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the Stone Ocean series, by the way. Just got to say that, guys. But uh, yeah, we're going to wrap things up today. So yeah, without further ado, let's get it. Okay, so I realized I wasn't recording for the first part. But I mean, I'm only like five minutes into the episodes. But yeah, Jolene has to piss right now. That That's basically all that happened, man. Oh, also, Poochie knows where we are. Like, I mean, he was fucking, he got the recorded phone call and everything. He kind of just, he kind of knows we're fucking around uh, uh, trying to get to the courtyard. Whoa. Okay. Literally all our blood is being sucked out right now. See, Jolene, if you would have just pissed in the corner, we probably would be fine right now, man. We would have wasted any time. Oh, okay. That's why. That's why, like, literally everything is getting sucked out right now. Damn, the blood in our bodies will boil. God damn, dude. Okay, there are a lot of factors right now. Our blood's gonna boil. We're gonna suffocate. This the uh, fucking jumping jack flash is still over here trying to kill us, man. Shooting these goddamn bolts at us. Oh shit, he's creating like a like an artificial mask. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, he created like little like astronaut suits. That's pretty cool. Damn, Withers, uh, his stand power is pretty, like, versatile. He can do, like, a lot of stuff with it. I love how it sounds like they're, like, in a vacuum right now. You know, like, it sounds like they're in space with the... I don't know. That's pretty cool. Just a little attention to detail I really like. I mean, it looks like it's cut off right there. Is that, like, his range? And his blood be boiling over? Well, he's probably outside the, the vacuum range. Yep, there we go. See, dude, I could have I could have figured this out and killed this guy easily. Okay, that's pretty cool. She used like her threads as like stitches. Okay, so our cloud suit right now is starting to break apart. Uh, we gotta we gotta do things quick. We gotta speed run this shit, man. Damn, that man was lurking, bro. Hold on, shit is getting intense as fuck. Goddamn, stressing me out and shit. Oh, we're, all, we're actually like almost there. Oh, but the pressure in the suit, we have like a hole in it, right? Yo, Jolene is carrying right now. Jesus. I mean, Weather's doing, he's he, you know, obviously he's trying to do his own shit, but like I'm talking like Jolene's like doing work, like protecting him. Oh, here we go, man. What is it? What is all that pressure in there going to explode? Oh, no. Okay. It's just going to hit Weather. What is with him and losing against just random things? <laughs> he lost against like an air conditioner earlier. Now he lost against a goddamn barrel. This is a really cool fight, though. I like it a lot. What? Rats? The rats are gonna explode though. Oh, now we can't see. Yo, what the fuck? Damn. Yo, this fight is dope. I forgot he had the disc too. Oh no, it's CGI form is back. Clever as hell. I don't know what the hell she's doing right now, but it worked, I guess. Oh, she just tied the thread to the her, his projectiles, I guess. Oh, okay, we can, we can pull him in. We can pull him in now, right? And now he's gonna start to fucking explode. Why doesn't he just let go of his stand? Ah, or oh, yeah, just deactivate the zero gravity, but he's gonna get fucked up if he does that. You're literally dying right now. 69 times, Jesus Christ. This man is really doing science right here. Um, I don't know, bro. You were pretty murderous even before this, bro. Oh, this man has lost his mind. Okay, well, there goes the uh, the suit. Weather, you gotta come in clutch, man. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta come save us, bro. Ah, uh, there we go, dude. But wait, how did he create another one? Come on, dude. You don't gotta be cool as fuck like that. The man really on his self his self sacrifice type beat. Oh okay, yeah, uh, Jolene, we gotta uh, we gotta go beat his ass real quick, or else Weather's head is gonna literally like fucking explode. Come on. Okay, he actually okay, he's deactivating it. Whoa, the visuals of that look insane. Oh, okay, you got clapped. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real, dude. This might be my favorite fight so far. The inclusion with Weather and Jumping Jack Spark. Like, I don't know, they're, the whole thing with, like, the, the, the weather suits and the zero gravity type deal and then the science, that was really cool. Like, this really made me feel like I didn't know what exactly was going to happen next. 
Um, what do you mean a prison guard, dude? Isn't the guard gonna come through and be like, what the fuck are, is an inmate doing here trying to get out? Oh, okay. Never mind. She's just gonna knock him out. Just she just she's just gonna punch her way out, I guess. Damn, six months? Julian, what do you mean? That's fine. How the hell are we gonna get anything done if we're in solitary confinement for half a year? Don't tell me Poochie's about to come through right now, man. I don't think we are sufficiently prepared to fight this man right now, dude. Dude, what the fuck? This is the first time they're saying face to face, right? Poochie and, and Jolene? I mean, if Poochie looks the other way, you know? Oh, oh, but Jolene doesn't know that's, that's a, you know, White Snake's user. Oh, okay, that's kind of insane right there. I, that's kind of fucking insane. Whoa, this shot of Poochie looks, that looks nice. His eye, I didn't know his eyes were like crosses. Whoa, it, it looks like the, Sma the, the Smash Brothers logo, his eyes. Okay, so yeah, Jolene has like no clue that White Snake is his stand. So Poochie was about to snitch on us right now, but Lang Wrangler. Oh, he's uh he's fucked up in the hamper right now, bro. Also, Jolene just looks kind of kind of weird. Damn, one minute? Are you sure one minute's gonna be enough? Why do they make Poochie look so HD in the, in this scene? But like a lot of shots of Jolene, she's like low res. What the fuck? He's a reward to go to heaven. So Poochie's talking about going to heaven a lot. I don't know exactly what that entails. I don't know if that means like just killing people or like sending them to heaven. I don't know. He's a pastor though. So, you know, hey, he probably knows it better than I do. I'm surprised he actually let us go. Oh, wow. He knows. He's actually really smart. I mean, then again, like weather report, probably he can barely move. Poochie knew that weather report was injured. Honestly, Poochie probably would have killed them both just right there. Is this just some random guy? Is he like a pilot? Did he just fly in and jump down? Like, wh what is this? Uh, no, I don't. Um, excuse me. Oh, wait, he's an officer. Hey, yo. Poochie, bitch ass. That man had a contingency plan. Yo, even the weather's like, what the hell? Yo, this man Poochie said like, nah, that man was playing 4D chess out here. I'm not gonna lie, Poochie, I like this man a lot. He's he's really cunning. I like that. Damn, really, Jolene just got, she just got fucked up like that. Oh, they have, um, what's it called? Sound effects now. I mean, you guys probably can't hear it because the song is copyrighted. That was pretty cool though. I mean, like JoJo openings are known for having like sound effects for like the last episode. That means, dang, that means, so this is episode 12 and they're doing a, a an already a sound effect version of the opening. So I probably predict there's probably gonna be three openings unless the second opening, they're just gonna play it for the entire rest of Stone Ocean. I don't think Stone Ocean is gonna be like 24 episodes. It's probably, like I said, people said it's around Golden Winds runtime. So it's probably gonna be around like 39, 40, something like that, right? But uh, yeah, um, hey, three openings, that'll be dope. I'm really excited to see what the next opening sounds like, though, you know? Yo, what the fuck? That man with Dio right now. Yo, hold on. Part six Dio art style? He's looking kind of clean. Damn, so young Poochie was out here conversing with Dio about life, death, heaven, all that stuff. Wait, so, wait, you're so, so you're telling me in part three, Dio already had this, this plan? Okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, please, Dio, be more specific. What, what is this heaven stuff, man? Oh, 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 Okay, so what I was saying, so in part three, because this is happening, Dio's obviously still alive, so this had to have happen during the events of part three, right? So Dio already had this heaven plan, this ascending to heaven. I don't, I, like I said, I don't know. Even Poochie's like, yo, can you be more specific? Can you stop talking and fucking riddles for once, Dio? And he's like, dude, I have it all written down in a notebook. Just come visit Egypt one time. Joe Taro probably knows what this heaven plan is, but Poochie doesn't. So that's why Poochie wants Joe Taro's memory disc. So that he can figure out exactly what Dio's master heaven plan is. Okay. Okay. See, I'm put... Yo, guys. I'm so, I'm too fucking smart, man. I'm putting the pieces together, bruh. That's kind of interesting. That's a really cool premise right there. I don't know where this talk about heaven is coming from, though. Because in part three, Dio was... That man, didn't, that, that man did not mention heaven one time while he's fighting, jo, while he's fighting Jotaro and whatnot, right? So, I don't know where this premise is coming from, but hey... Hey, I'm, I'm here for it. Oh, damn, the notebook was... Oh, okay. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, but Joe Toro burned the notebook. He didn't keep it. Damn, so that's interesting. So Joe Toro knows this master plan that Dio had. It's kind of weird seeing Joe, part three Joe Toro in, in, in Stone Ocean art style. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is like a cool symbolism. Like it showed the sky, like in Dio's mansion in Egypt, and then the prison with Poochie's in. So does Poochie own the prison? 
Is, is that what I'm getting at here? Like he just he controls everything that happens. It's kind of crazy that this man really was out here playing a 10 D chess. Let Jolene go to the courtyard and just have this have control of this guard and have the guard kill her. That dude is that dude is menacing, bro. I am so curious to know how the hell we're gonna get out of this one. I mean, Jolene, you can you know maybe bring out Stone Ocean a little bit. You know you can deflect it. You're fast enough, right? You're a Cujo. What? Is that a frog? This man really missed from. God damn! What the hell's going on? That man really missed from that close up, though. Wait, weather report is manipulating the weather to rain frogs? Damn, that was almost a hundred years. Jesus. And wait, what? Oh, it's because of. Okay, it's because of tornadoes and shit. Okay, so it's not technically raining the frog. Okay. Wow, weather. That. Oh my God, that's terrible. Jesus Christ, that is awful. Oh, Poochie! That man is in trouble, the frogs! Okay, yeah, I mean, your hand got touched by them. Oh, he had to bring, okay, he had to bring out White Snake for that, I was about to say. Damn, weather report, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like I said, um, once again, his his stand is versatile as hell if he's able to literally control the weather like that. Damn it, Jolene's just, he's just taking it, bro. I mean, how is she not getting hit by these things? Okay, I was about to say, dude. Oh, wow, we actually have to create like a shield. Um, weather, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, you, you can probably stop with the frogs now. I think the guy that's, you know, the guy that was gonna kill us is is down. His face is all messed up. We can, you know, he, he's probably not gonna fuck with us anymore. What's he doing? He's just counting? He's counting prime numbers? Wait, what? <laughs> that man said, yo, prime numbers give me strength. I'm just gonna count. I gotta remain calm. $800? God damn, bro. You got the fucking... What kind of pants are those, dude? $800 pants. Yo, he put, he, he, he put in that pastor money to good use. Yikes. Yo, Poochie's just like, holy shit, this man is looking rough. Poochie's just gonna kill him, man. Just take, just, just, just take the card and kill him. Oh my god. Yikes. Now, that man is still being calm? That man got poison on his face, though. Yo, honestly, weather report's gonna end up killing everybody with these frogs, bro. Wait, what? Damn, this man really ran away? <laughs> this man's scared. Dang, okay, so Poochie isn't the, the end-all, be-all of everybody. Because this guard just said, like, yo, I gotta go get my superior. Like, I don't know if I can do that. Wait, what? It's just controlling the frog? What the fuck? This man playing Frisbee with the disc? Wow. Poochie really was not letting this man run away. What the hell? Yo. Poochie, I feel like, is the perfect definition of menacing. Like, he's not, like, over-the-top evil, but, like, he seems just, like... I like I like him a lot, man. I like him a lot. And just left this dude here. Honestly, this guard got off... You know, he got off way better than the other one. Weather? Okay, you can stop the frogs now, bro. Literally, every everyone that was da in danger to us is, is gone. Oh, thank God, dude. I was about to say, like, you're gonna end up killing everybody here. Oh, CGI White Snake, he's here. Did she just put a bunch of frogs on her? Nah, Jolene is capping. Like, she's she's trying to finesse White Snake right now. Dude, White Snake's design is so fire. See, there it is, man. Ah, uh, see, the threads. I knew it. Okay, so basically when they hit the ground, they just explode with the poison. But if they're just chilling, like they don't do anything. I got you. Okay, so where's the where's the person that's supposed to take the disc away? God damn, that man White Snake was about to fucking bash your head in. Wait, that was the person that 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 was coming from the Speedwagon Foundation. It was a bird. Savage Guardian is the name of the pigeon. <laughs> why, why does it have such a <laughs> such a funny name? I feel like White Snake could have killed Jolene right there, bro. You know? Oh, oh, he's, okay. He he wants to get the the stand disc back. That's so. That was so weird seeing a stand hold the gun like that. <laughs> Damn, this dude. Yo, Poochie keeps getting cucked right now, man. Like, he's literally about to kill Jolene. <laughs> I bet she's going to figure out who it is, like, right before she passes out. Or they can cuck me and be like, oh, I'm passing out. I can't, I can't hold on and see who the stand user is. Oh, never mind. Poochie found out that he's being tracked, so he's probably just going to cut the thread. Damn. Yep. GG Jolene. Yo, Aramis and FF, where the fuck are you guys at? We need help. I swear. Like, <laughs> they were just fucking around. Jolene and the weather reporter fighting for their lives out here. I mean, that's dope that we got Star Platinum back. Even Pooji said like, yo, I honestly don't care. Like, as long as you don't have the memory disc, we're fine. We're chilling. Oh, we got an ending scene. Sports Maximum. Is that this dude's name? A bone. Is that Dio's bone? Yo. Who sports maximum? Is that really how Stone Ocean 
the first 12 episodes this batch ends man damn i'm trying to think what could he be trying to do with dio's bone sports maximum a bone is he trying to bring him back to life i feel like that's too that's too overpowered if you can try to bring someone back you know i don't know how that would work but damn these were some really good episodes the i really loved the end of that jumping jack spark fight and that last episode had me on edge like the whole time that was really interesting um it was really it felt like that was kind of poochie's episode if that made sense you know it really felt like it man you know it felt like poochie had interactions with like he was like trying to get out and you know he's like counting the prime numbers and he was like oh shit you know like i don't know dude like it felt like poochie's episode right there um i guess uh poochie's identity will be uh will be safe for now like i said dude like i don't know something about jojo and the jo and, and the jojo fights they, they always just keep me intrigued like there's never a dull moment where i'm like oh, okay you know can we wrap this up it's always just like i want to see more i want to see how things unfold i just like 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 right there like that cliffhanger i'm like damn dude you know poochie we we got to learn more about him that man is cunning as hell that man is meticulous and that man is not afraid to be evil he's not like overly evil and shit like that but that man you know he will sacrifice people to get his way you know that man is you know that man is not to be messed with and you know he's powerful too so yeah he he still has jotaro's memory disc we don't know who the user is still because jolene passed out and um weather report came in clutch like i said weather reports uh stand ability super vers versatile i really liked it a lot really interesting how he used like the frogs and whatnot even though he almost le legit almost killed everybody with it um but yeah dude um very very strong way to end these batch of stone ocean episodes um hopefully we get some more news on when the next ones drop i know a lot of people are saying like oh it's gonna drop in april i think like japan has to catch up or something like that i don't know exactly you know the the details but yeah whenever you know the rest drop and whatnot <laughs> best believe i'm gonna be sitting right here still watching with you guys but uh yeah for now guys that is going to be the end or i guess you know just a little just a little slight brief pause on uh jojo but uh we will return soon man we will return soon and i'm really excited to see how this story continues man uh, i'm really liking part six a lot like the whole thing with the heaven plan like i want to know exactly what this heaven plan is that dio had i want to know how you know poochie and jolene's i guess like rival i don't want to say rivalry but like you know their fights you know they're exactly how they interact with each other because jolene knows what poochie looks like now he just does she just doesn't know that you know that's that's the main villain you know so uh yeah i'm really excited to see that and yeah uh Nasui, we still haven't seen exactly what the fuck he does so uh, yeah he still needs to be introduced but yeah other than that fucking love this right now so, yeah thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the stone ocean series so far i'm happy that you guys are enjoying this as much as i did i got a lot of comments saying like yo ivory when are you gonna finish jojo off you know i'm waiting for you to you know get to the last episode or i'm waiting for you to see this specific thing and whatnot it's just like yo so i hope you guys do enjoy this man um i'm having the time of my life it's been your boy ivory guys happy new year's i love y'all thank you guys so much for all the love and support once again man you know i just appreciate you guys being here just enjoying what we do i'm just trying to have fun out here uh, but yeah, um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, evening, wherever the hell you are in the world. And uh, yeah, here's to a new year. It's been your boy, guys, and I'm out. Peace.